Interest rates. They've been near zero since the financial crisis. That's made it cheaper for everyone to borrow, from banks to homeowners to car buyers. But as the economy improves, the Fed will want to raise interest rates to keep it from overheating. Some of the tools the central bank used in previous decades to control rates don't work the way they used to. So the Fed has devised a new toolkit to push up rates and keep them in a desired range. To set the scene for these tools, let's tell a tale of three banks. The first is the Fed. This is, of course, the Federal Reserve. Next is Big Bank. These are your Citibanks, your JP Morgans, etc. And finally, Home Loan. These are the federal home loan banks that lend to places like Big Bank. So now, let's think of the world of interest rates as a skyscraper, with an elevator in it that naturally goes up and down. At the higher end is 0.25%, and at the bottom, 0.0%. So let's say this higher level is where the Fed keeps bank reserves. Big Bank can put some of its money here and earn 0.25% interest from the Fed. This rate is called the IOER, Interest on Excess Reserves. Setting this rate is the Fed's primary new tool. It sits at the top of its range. Now, Home Loan is a different kind of bank. It can't earn interest from the Fed by putting it here, but it can loan money to Big Bank. It is willing to accept less than the 0.25% the Fed pays because doing so is a way for it to still earn money. So it loans money to Big Bank in this range. That's good news for Big Bank because it can borrow from Home Loan and then turn around and park that money at the Fed, earning interest and pocketing the difference. These loans that Home Loan makes to Big Bank form most of the activity that occurs here in this range. This is a market that determines the Fed's benchmark known as the Fed Funds Rate. Think of this as the elevator. When the Fed Funds Rate moves up or down, borrowing costs for you and me tend to follow along. So let's say the Fed's new IOER is 0.5%. The idea is that this whole range moves up with it. Now, under this scenario, Big Bank earns 0.5% on reserves, and the Fed Fund's rate is ideally supposed to sit in this new range of 0.25 to 0.5%. Here's the problem. Because Home Loan is willing to earn interest at a rate below 0.25%, the Fed Fund's rate might not always rise up into this new range. So, enter tool number two. It's called the Reverse Repo Program. This is still part of the Fed Toolkit, but it's separate from IOER. So let's think of it as another building. Reverse repos give Home Loan another place to put its money and earn interest on it at a rate set by the Fed. So let's say the Fed sets this rate at 0.25%. Since any borrower that isn't the Fed is considered a riskier bet, the Fed expects that home loan will loan to big bank at a rate that's higher. That's how the Fed sets the floor. It's a mix of market forces and Fed monetary management coming together in an attempt to deal with a new economic era.